Hello and welcome everybody. Today we'll talk about the new feature in Houdini 19.5, Kelvin Works Deformer. It is uh, a non-simulation deformer that doesn't need or require flip simulation that will create a pseudo wave on a surface or a grid. And for it we need two things. We need the geometry that will deform and we need the surface. Enough talking and let's go and explain it so let's create a grid so here I have a grid let me resize and this one let me expand it something like that so the grid and make it large say 70 with a lot of points even more 300 by 300 so I have this grid next I will import a board so file let me search for the board there is FBX let's view it and compare it so let's resize it all the way down to that degree like this so here let me make it 140 or here 140 and 50 and move it something like this let's make sure we have a square sort of square shape let me create a movement let's, let's go by drawing a curve so this is the curve and this is the projection and I will choose here in the projection geometry let me complete here and Press enter. I will start from here all the way this is ah oh, I pressed the wrong one. I must stand here and this make the curve now. Make a turn here. This node doesn't like uh, sharp curves. So, I think this one is enough. Now, after I draw the curve, let me add a path follow. And here, the input geometry is the port, and the target is the curve. Let me change the direction. I think 270. Okay. And I will keyframe the beginning and the end. Maybe I'll go just a notch at the beginning. I will make this line smooth so it can run in a better shape. So let's add. Uh, smooth I'll increase the strength even more and the filter quality something like that okay let's have a look now so it's a smooth ride now to the funny part or interesting part right click right Kelvin works deformer so this node first input will be the geometry that we want to deform that's this surface and the second input should be the generating geometry and that's the board 
it's ugly and let me merge both of them so you can see the end result immediately and I will make it smooth shading let's have a look for now I'll just I will decrease the resolution because it's very intense so here we said 50 by 100 let me view something like this here up to here and the resolution will make it 300 by 300 let me just figure out 500 something like that for now later when we cache we can increase the resolution and so let's go here and the view so it's still slow and the slowness is from this one okay let me go down even more in 150 by 300 and let's see now bit faster so let's go here let's view and immediately we see nothing I will lower the port a little bit down I'll T here and let's take it a notch down and let's see and we should not see anything why I will tell you if you look at the input here we have only normal some parameter here but we are missing velocity so we need to calculate the velocity point velocity we'll add it here and here we compute from deformation evaluate within frame range and now we have velocity here and immediately you can see something is going on here that we need to tweak so let's go to the node we need to make sure which axis is the up axis and in this case it's the y deforming are we deforming point or height field so we can use height field but now I'm using uh, geometry as a point I put height field I think point input input is trajectory curve or object as a point this is trajectory here I'm using object as a point here we can control the fur off we can increase it and suppress the radius and the fall off range the spectrum here the magnitude we can lower it to acceptable range something like that because I have low res let me put it like this okay and offset and we have the scale here we can play with let me run it now good so suppress so radius attenuate distance gravity also has an effect let's see if we can play with it let's put one let's put hundred then I increase it to 150 go a couple of frames Now here, the face control, let me go down, let me expand it, and minimize it, the magnitude ramp, why this blue, I need to change them to green, they will look nice when they are green, 
catching this color in his round and here magnitude multiplier 0 0.01 0.05 okay let me run a flip book you can see it in action and for that let me create some lighting distant light okay and I will remove the shading better quality light something like that and the grid maybe we can add a color a color let's see what from brand what attribute we have position I don't want position white water P why will it work? Yeah, something like that. Okay, let me pause. So for now, this is the output with more modification, it will work even better. Okay, what's next? Let's say I want to add uh, some spectrum. Spectra. Spectrum evaluate. Spect evaluate. Ocean evaluate. Should be ocean evaluate. See if it will work. And this is my grid. So look, and we are using TMA to lower the speed. Okay, now let's add this one here. Let's see if it will respond. Okay, and yes, indeed, it responds. Let's have a quick flip book again. So this is uh, the render, the low resolution render of course. Let me make it big. With more uh, polygon and uh, more resolution it will look more natural but this is just a setup. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for your support. Comment and share and uh, please uh, join my patreon to support me so I can update my computer It's a mess and it's very old and join me on my membership Thank you for your support. Thank you. Bye